Hey guys, it's Dan Ross Props here, and welcome to episode 1 of my tutorial guide on modding with MCC tool chests. Now first of all, we are doing the area effect. Okay. So I've set up a little display here of a few items that you could do with the effect clouds. So this is an angry villager, as you can see. I can remove that barrier block. See, he looks like he's angry, but he's not. Next, we have DJ Steve, look. See all the notes? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Next, we've got a firework up here, look. Flying in the distance. I mean, <laughs> I'm not really the best person for building and stuff, but this is a few little ideas I had. And lastly, we got a witch here that's just using magic. Now they've got the no AI tag on them, so they're not actually doing anything. But they still make noises and, and those noises. Anyway, that's that. So what I'm going to show you on here is I'm going to add more flames to the top of this torch. Now, how do we do these? You want to know how. Right, so we're in creative. <laughs> And you see all these lingering potions, you just choose one of them with at least, you know, a certain time on it so it actually lingers. Click one of them, and if I throw that at this pole, just throw it there. Oh, that was completely missed, but it doesn't really matter. Now, we just exit and save. And now what we do is hop onto the computer. So we're on the PC now, so you want to load up Horizon, okay, and your MCC tool chest, okay. Downloads for these programs will be in the description. So you want to minimize that one, go on here, plugged in your USB stick which you saved your map on, say, whatever you want. Go on your Minecraft, find your particle effects, that's what I've called it. Contents, get your save.dat, extract that. I like to just do it on the desktop for just convenience, really. So, what I do now is minimize it, okay? And then you open up your MCC tool chest, like this. So, right, now we're on here. Let's make this big. So, what you do, find entity, okay? Luckily for me, it's already in there, but this should be blank when you open it, okay? So what I always do is type in area, so we're looking for the area effect cloud, like so. And now, I believe it's probably this top one. Let me just double check. Yes. See? Right. So this is the area reflect, effect cloud, sorry, and basically what this is, is the potion, okay? So now this is here, it says particle, look, it says 24. Now 24 is basically the potion effect. So for that one, we got water breathing, okay? So what I always do, you don't have to do this, but it's just easier. If you change this to water, Minecraft the game sees that as it's just a water potion. So then you won't get an effect from it. But if you were making like a map, you could add speed to it and you know you can have a running effect or something. Or jump in or whatever. But you just change the potion in there. So then this this next one here it says radius. You can change the radius. Now if you put it up to say like 10 it will start lagging like hell, so do not put it up really high. What I normally have it on is either 1 or 2, but uh, for this flame thing, I'm going to make it actually one. Well, 0 0.5, just because I want it really small. I think you can't really go any further than that. You saw, I think I've done it before, I went 0 0.3 and it just didn't work. So now this radius on use, when we used it, that's going to start degrading each time by 0.5% so you need to set that to 0 
So we don't want it to change size, we want it to stay at radius 0 0.5. And per ticks, the same thing again, I'm going to put that at 0. And that's all that. Now this is an important one. Oops, duration. Now I just set these all the time to like 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. And it says that all the time because I always get it wrong. You need that. There we go. So now that'll be going for that many takes. So practically forever. And then I just change the age just to one. And that will start it from very first time it's come on. And then what else you can do, you can change the position. Now I want to just find the particle. Okay. Luckily for me, I have a good friend called Die Ben uh, M, and he made this for me, which has a load of information on it. Now we want flames, so see all these numbers here, like here, look, see all these? Now these are all the particle effects. Now I will leave them in the description, okay, so you all can see. Now I want fire, so if I'm right, I think I think lava's best one. So we'll go for number seven, okay? So let's go back on here, change that to seven. So that will become that now. Now I don't know exactly the coordinates yet of the torch, but let's go on the game again and see if it worked. So we're gonna hit save. Exit out of there, exit out of there, exit out of there, go back on your horizon, click on that, replace with the save.dat on your desktop, beam, 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 I like to do this three times, there we go, exit, exit, and now we're going to go back on the Xbox 360. Okay, so we're back on the 360. And I need to just put my USB in, done. And let's load this up and see if it worked. There we go, look at that. So now what I need to do is move that up there. Now I'm not really going to do that because you can see it work. Now that's pretty much it guys for episode 1. Hope you guys like this. I've had a few requests to do these sort of things, so episode 2, we'll do some work on mob spawners, shall we? Well, I'm Damas Pros. thanks very much for watching, and catch you later!